right, we are back for another Cities of Sigmar painting tutorial, and today we're doing Lethys. Uh, the, I'm not really sure what the backstory is of Lethys, but the blurb about them is pale colors to match the people's complexion, flat black helmets and amethyst fabrics, skulls picked out in white to provide focus. Um, I'm not sure where they got the pale colors to match the people's complexion thing, their shield is all dark colors, but nonetheless, we're going to give this a whirl here. We're going to start with Black Legion, and specifically I'm using Black Legion, not Black Templar, because it is a slightly warm black. Um, black Templar is a slightly cool black. So this will give us kind of a, a brownish sort of tint compared to Black Templar. I think my brush was a little bit too wet when I started, so I might need a second coat of this to make sure that it really shows up as black and not gray. So I'm just going to get all the wood here. Trying our best to not get any on the filigree or on the square in the middle there. And just right up in these last couple corners. And we're good to go. Just make sure the sides are nice and dark. All right. So I will let that dry. We will come back and do the middle diamond. All right, we are back, and now we're going to do the middle diamond. And I wasn't really sure what color to do this, uh, so I'm just going to go with Sigvald Burgundy. I think that's as close as you're going to get in the contrast speed paint sector. Um, but if there is something better, then I apologize. But this is what I'm going to go with. Let me get my brush a little wetter. This giant flat surface here, I really need it to lay down smoothly. And then any of the, the pooling, I want to focus towards the bottom of this thing. Alright. Let's see if I can get just a little bit of this off here. By flooding it with some water. Let me get a bigger brush, actually. There we go. That'll work. I think that looks pretty similar to how the uh, one on the community site looks. And, of course, there'll be a transfer on it, so that'll... That'll cover over any of the little water tide marks we have there. Um, but yeah, I'll let that dry, and then I'll come back and do the metallic. All right, we're back, and I'm going to do the metallics now. I'm going to start with Horde Bronze from the Speed Paint 2.0 line. I'm going to apply this pretty thinly to match the sort of dull bronze that they have on the website. And then I'm going to take uh, Polished Silver, also from the Speed Paint 2.0 line, and uh, do all the rivets. Oh, I should be on camera. Rivets and uh, screws and stuff. Bolts. Still haven't figured out what to call those things. The little tiny dots that need to have a different color on them. There we go. Get a little bit in there. Perfect. Alright, now I'm just going to go straight into this next color. I'm actually going to use, looking at it, I'm going to use Broadsword Silver. Just a little bit darker, and they do look pretty dark now that I look at the picture. So just get a little bit of this, and very carefully 
put this on all the rivets. Alrighty, and that will about do it. The only other thing I'm going to do is put Agrax Earthshade just literally on the whole thing, um, just to brown it up a little bit. Everything on the, the one on the website is sort of tinted brown, so I'm going to do that. I'm sure you guys have seen me, I've seen many people put a, just a simple wash over things before, so you don't necessarily need to see that. And it'll just extend the video time. for no reason. So, right about now, you should be seeing the finished product with that Agrax laid over the top and the transfer on. And that will about do it. So thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.